welcome to my channel, House of Gemini. Today I'll be doing an unboxing video of my week two of Misfit Market. My madness box, and it looks like a little bit of madness inside there. Um, first I thought maybe this might be uh, mold, but it's actually part of the insulation it looks like on the kale. So hopefully that'll still be okay if I wash, but this is what it looks like as I just open it. This is olive oil that I ordered, which probably would be better on the bottom of the box, but I will. As I've uncovered the first layer, you can see that the filling from the box is kind of throughout the inside, which kind of sucks. It looks like it's torn in a few places on the inside, which is, I don't know, disturbing, but the corner here and at the top here you can see it's ripped um, just a big mess to clean up after I took everything out of the box um, that is part of the madness box I have uh, two packages of heirloom cherry tomatoes those look pretty good I'm gonna have to do a deep clean on everything because the insulation ripped open and kind of covered most everything in the box which is unfortunate, but I think it'd be okay. Um, I did order heirloom tomatoes, which I'm disappointed about as I only received two of those. And um, pretty rough for now. They're gonna have to definitely sit out on the counter for a couple of days, which isn't the end of the world, I guess. But I didn't really need Roma tomatoes this week. I wanted to make an extra scrumptious delicious salsa with heirloom tomatoes, but I guess I can maybe do a mix. I also, these, which you can see one of them was smashed at the bottom of the box and they're all kind of covered in this insulation. Um, so I did get six of those small kiwis, four yellow onions, lemons. My last week's lemons were pretty good. Some of these are kind of hard, so I might just leave those out in the corner. A small handful of those. Seven, it looks like. Two cucumbers, which look pretty good. One's a little banged up, I guess. Can cut that off. Again, everything's kind of coated in this insulation. Two Kent mangoes, which was part of the original order. And those will have to be left on the counter. I also received my cauliflower, which I'm excited about, the cabbage, two bunches of radishes, which look all right, pretty good size, bunches mm -hmm. of kale, which are embedded with the insulation. I should hopefully be able to wash that off pretty well, soak them if need be. Haven't washed anything yet. I also ordered cilantro because I was gonna make my salsa this week. So I did receive two bunches of this yummy organic cilantro. And it smells really great. The main box was this little baby spaghetti squash. I was hoping to make a meal out of this, but it might just be a meal for one, one of these days. No big deal. I also did some add-ons this week, which included the Garden of Eaton blue chips, which is awesome. Looking forward to that with my salsa that I was gonna make. This large thing here, but it looks like it's frozen, which is a bummer. I don't know if olive oil will recover from that. It definitely looks frozen, but at least it's not broken. I got four of the Izzy lemonades, which look yummy. Loves of garlic, a little fresh and delicious looking rosemary, some fingerling potatoes. Some mushrooms, the packaging was ripped open. Two avocados, which are pretty firm. I'll have to leave those out as well. I also got some extra citrus this week because the oranges we had last week were great. These are little mandarins that I did as an add-on. Two sets of those. Cherries, those look pretty good. Really tiny ones, but I'm sure they'll be just as good as last week's. Um, some blackberries, white quinoa, and Brussels sprouts. Here are the items from inside of my box after I've washed everything in a little water and vinegar. I'll start off with the mangoes. 
These are Kent mangoes from Peru, still quite green, so those will need to soften up in the sunlight here. I also received um, four lemons. This one kind of looked like a lime to me. I received six kiwi fruit, one split open, but heirloom tomatoes, and I received two, two of which were kind of partially frozen, so I'll have to eat these right away. They've thawed out now, so they're overripe. And then I received Roma tomatoes in its place that aren't quite ripe yet, and I still have leftover aromas from my last week's box. Two containers of the heirloom medley cherry tomatoes, and a nice uh, cabbage, the small little spaghetti squash, four yellow onions, two cucumbers, one is kind of banged up a bit. You can kind of see there, not the best, but I can cut that off. Two bunches of beets, which look amazing. Two bunches of curly kale, which now that I've washed them off, look pretty good. Kind of excited about that. Two bunches of the curly parsley, look really good and fragrant. I love that. Also, I had selected cilantro for my sassy salsa that I had intended to make, which smells amazing, and uh, I will put that to good use. I also plan to make some tacos this week, so I'll get some good use out of that in the rest. My serrano peppers. So not a lot, but they pack a lot of heat, so I don't need a lot for my salsas. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good looking box. Only one snafu which was the kiwi that was a little dinged up, split open. And then these were partially frozen um, and they're extremely ripe. So I will need to eat those right away. And that's that for the madness portion of my box. And this week's add-ons, I selected the Izzy Sparkling Lemonades. I did order some organic extra virgin olive oil this week and it was totally frozen when it first arrived. You can kind of see the sediment at the bottom. It's a little bit unappealing. I need to research a little bit to find out if my olive oil is gonna survive the froze chips. Really excited about that as I'm making homemade salsa this week and also doing some tacos later in the week. Um, white quinoa, berries, an order of blackberries, two orders of the clementines, which look great. I mean, the, this one's a little bit beat up, but the rest of them look amazing. So I'm excited for those. I've got two avocados that are rock hard, like they just came off the tree. Um, I believe this is a product of Mexico. Of organic gourmet mushrooms and it arrived ripped open. So that was kind of a bummer, but everything looks to be there. I like some rosemary. Some fingerling potatoes, a little handful there, enough for one meal. And then I ordered the $35, I believe this is an additional $30, $35, I'd have to double. Overall, I'm pretty pleased, everything is looking pretty good. Just a couple little things, uh, the dinged up, oh, ripped open mushrooms, and um, there was a dinged up kiwi that actually split open. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. I'm excited to try this week's organic finds. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.